Hello everyone, this is Tim here, and welcome to my review of the LEGO Ninjago magazine. And it's the one, the one I've been waiting for for so, so long. It is Hydro Whipper. Baby! It's issue 82, Elemental Jedi 82. It is destiny that this is his issue. And because Hydro Whipper is such an important figure, you know, everyone always says when they have figures like this in the magazine, oh, it'll be good for army building. Then they never army build, but me... I got nine. That is right, folks. I have nine of the same magazine. I've already built and opened one because I was so excited. But now here I am with my review copy here. So without further ado, let's get to Hydro Whipper himself. And here he is. There's not really much you can say. It's Hydro Whipper, baby, in the Ninjago magazine. It is beautiful. It is sublime there's nothing nothing wrong with it it's i mean words can't describe how good it is the teal and black such a good contrast the golden armor the weapon that handle in black everything about it and then it's representing hydro whipper himself i mean I, there's not much to say apart from look at it don't knock it over <laughs> look at it i mean take off the flippers for a second because they're not in the show so i don't need them i won't i don't display my hydro pool flippers and then look at that and tell me that, tell me what's wrong with it, because there's nothing wrong with it. It is everything you'd want from a Ninjago minifigure. It harkens back to the originals with the snake-like design, but it still feels unique and different with the eel influences. I mean, it's just perfect, and that so many people could get it in a magazine is great. I say could because, um, well, you know, I, I did buy out, like, two stores um, to, to get, like, the nine issues that I've already got, and I'm probably going to get some more but if you can get these if i if i haven't got to your to your local area yet buy it and get such a great figure magazine itself you don't care you just don't care about the magazine because you for hydro with oh there he is he's all over the issue actually um he's in the comic a bit and stuff comics whatever poster yeah this poster's good it's got hydro uppers Villains from below, he's not a villain, he's a hero to me. Actually, the poster is really badly designed because it's got these renders of them, which is fine, which is really cool. These semi mini fig accurate, and then there's just this like show whipper that doesn't blend in. But oh well, it's a Hydro Whipper poster, it's going on my wall. Uh, puzzles, <laughs> whatever you hear, for, you, you get these for the mini fig, you never get them for the, the things. What a dragon, I actually want to get the set. Um, advertisement, I actually like that, it's really aesthetically pleasing, but I, I don't care actually because it's not Hydro Whipper. Next issue, it's not as exciting as Hydro Whipper, but Scrubaneer is a fantastic figure with that Fire Dragon hairpiece. This is a really, really good gift, like, really awesome. A good good way to succeed such greatness of Hydro Whipper, to be honest. Now, I also think I sk accidentally skipped over a page where it details it. They get the name wrong. They call him a Ma Ray Guard. They do this on the cover as well. It's Hydro Whipper. I don't know why they're saying what they're saying Ma Ray Guard's for. I don't know if it even is a Ma Ray. Never said in the show. It also suggests that you build your own, which is insulting. The design is perfect as it is, and it needs no form of improvement. Anyways, that is that with the magazine itself. I mean, you're getting it for this Hydro Whipper. Again, typoed the name, I guess. But yeah, yeah, for Hydro Whipper himself, and no other reason. So here it is. Issue 82 of the Lego Ninjago magazine is the greatest one yet. It is perfect in every way. Finally, Hydro Whipper in his magazine. And I couldn't be more happy. Thank you for watching this review. And I will leave on the note of showing you my Hydro Upper army. So here is the Hydro Upper army so far. Obviously I'll get uh, at least a 10th, uh, a, a 16th, sorry, to, um, 10th issue, but a 16th whipper to finish off that row. Um, and I might, yeah, a few more. Uh, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I'll get as many as I humanly can, basically. Like, within money and budget and finding them after, you know, bought them all. And hoping that they restock them and stuff. But yeah, these guys do have weapons. Uh, but there's a slight delay on them because, like, uh, I misplaced them on the original ones. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I've ordered some off of uh, bricks and pieces. Also, real quickly, I'll just put Glutinous at, at the back there. Because he, he's a Hydro Whipper. So this is my armies so far. My army so far. I want to fill, fill up. You know, at least finish this row. Maybe work, get another row done or something. We'll see, we'll see how far I go with these, but all I want to say is I just want to get, I want to get a lot of these guys, and hopefully, hopefully I will be able to, um, depending on restocking and stuff, so thank you for watching this review, 
it's a Hydra for a shoot. I'm very excited about it. Um, as you can probably tell throughout. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.